Okay, this is uh, Duncan Foley and we're going to do a uh, tutorial uh, that's going to introduce uh, parts into the scene. It's going to allow us to uh, set up the uh, gripper uh, so it can open and close. And I'm going to pick up a, a little cylinder uh, on the bump tray and move it to uh, a new position. So um, I'm using the uh, input output uh, program. Uh, I've put in the uh, the loop program we've done previously. It doesn't really matter because we're going to change this anyway. So if we go to the modeling tab and create um, a cylinder. And we want a cylinder that is um, 10 height, bottom radius of 10, and top radius of 10. Okay. And there we go. If you start to lose it and you need to move it, just click on, on the tree down the left hand side. Um, I'm going to just go to the top view what I want to do is uh, rotate it around so um, I'm going to just right click on there and uh, edit position uh, and I'm going to rotate it 90 but it, it's in, interesting to look at the current situation now I'm just going to uh, the cylinder is on its side and um, the z-axis is pointing up notice that the uh, the robot uh, z-axis is pointing down we need to match this coordinate system with the coordinate system of the gripper. So we need the uh, the, the uh, um, reference frame to be pointing Z down. So I'm, I'm going to uh, just move it around a bit and uh, hopefully you should uh, be able to uh, put it on the bump tray. You can either use the uh, center uh, from three points and zoom up on a bump or you can for today you can just manually position it approximately uh, over one of the the bumps on there I'm going to pause the video and uh, move it myself uh, and then uh, uh, restart the video okay I have moved the uh, cylinder into position I've uh, edited the reference frame just switch that off and so the uh, the Z axis is pointing down. The Z axis pointing down here of the gripper. Um, with the uh, one feature I used uh, when I was doing this is right click, uh, and you can, if, if you click on close up, this is like allows you to close up on whatever object that is currently selected. So that helped me a little. So I want to select the uh, the cylinder, right click, and define it as a new part. So now we have a, um, the tools in the tree and just close that down a little and we've now got a part and that is a cylinder. Okay, so its name is cylinder, we can give it a new name if you want. Um, okay. Um, What I want to do is, if you look very carefully at uh, uh, the the tree, you can see that the part has a, a cylinder uh, and a handle. I want to make sure that the handle is at the top of the part, or just below the surface. So, just quickly look round. That's not very helpful. And it looks a little bit. I'm going to just right click on that and uh, go closer. See the handle is slightly above the part, and this is where the handle of the gripper will be aiming for. So it's a little bit high, so I'm going to edit uh, the handle and just drag it down a little bit, just a little bit below the surface. I'll just check that it's definitely in, uh, in the middle of the cylinder, it is, yeah. Okay. 
So I'll switch off that. So it's now got, we've now defined a part and we've now defined the handle because the handler from the end of the gripper will go for that. Okay, let's just zoom out. Okay. Now what we need to do is look at the gripper. Uh, just select the gripper. Um, actually, it might be better. Selecting it in the tree. Close up. Just rotate a little bit around so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now, if you click on the gripper, right click, and we want to uh, device configuration because at the moment it knows it's a gripper, but it doesn't know anything about the settings uh, for this gripper. So it's a uh, device configure. Click on the uh, plus button and we get, uh, we're get we getting this uh, set up to define the, uh, the gripper so it is a grass behavior and I'll click on there and we want digital input and we're going to stick it on uh, digital output that is so Okay, so we're just making sure that uh, the uh, the gripper is set to the uh, user input output valve one, the robot cell, and it's assigned to T tool. So that's okay. Let's close that now. Let's just make sure that actually did work. So we've gone to control valve one. Okay. And say OK for that. I'm just going to change these round because I want it to be normally closed. So just uh, um, update. It's still it's set to control valve one. Control valve. Switch it on to off. Expand the handler settings. Let's grasp it's closed. It's, uh, as is. And we're going to change it so that when this tool handler position here is within 25 uh, millimeters of the uh, the part handle, it it can actually grasp it if you in the program you tell to close gripper. Let's expand this, and this is the uh, milliseconds. We can just milliseconds of how quick uh, and the um, robot closes the gripper okay right okay let's go back to our program so we're going to use the uh, input output I'm just going to go and uh, get the uh, get the tutorial and grab our program because I'm being a bit lazy and I don't want to type it all in again Looking at this, I think I've already defined everything, so let's just check. Uh, yep, yeah, no errors. What we've got new is we've got the command to open the tool and close the tool. Open the tool. So we're going to move to J start, make sure that the tool is open, move to PPIP 1, approach, then go down to PPIP 1. Then close, um, and then move to PPIP2, and then open. So we're just literally going to move it to the side, and then go back to PPIP1. Uh, again, it's not a really amazing program. You'd probably be better going to uh, PPIP1 approach, uh, then go to PPIP1, then go back up to PPIP1 approach, and then move to uh, PPIP2 approach etc so it's more uh, uh, more organized but it's, it's okay for our example so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the uh, the cylinder uh, close up just 
zoom out a little bit, it's a bit, a bit too close, is that? Yeah, that's about, that's about right where I can see both the uh, the, the gripper and the, the part. Got the uh, the part selected. Right click and say move to, and I'm asking the controller to move to that uh, to the new point. So there it is. It's jumped to that position, and that in the program wants to be P pit one. So I'm going to go to uh, the geometry tab. Make sure I'm definitely working in the input output. That is the new position for P pit one. So if we right click and say here, I'm just going to check that I've defined PPIT2. So I'm just going to ask it to move to there. Check. I don't really think we use PPIT3, but just in case, move to there. And J start, move to there. Okay, right. Now what we can do is run our program, hopefully uh, it will pick the part up and move it to PPIC2. Uh, one issue with this um, uh, program is if um, you run the simulator extremely fast and the values for the, uh, the device, uh, the, the milliseconds, are too fast and you haven't given in the program an opportunity for uh, when you close the gripper, uh, it might be a good idea to put a, a wait and move after that to ensure that it doesn't start moving to PPIC2 it doesn't start moving to PPIC2 before it's finished this command okay uh, I'm gonna save my work go back here I think this must be uh, the trace I'll just go to simulation and clear the trace there we go Switch off the trace, don't really need it. Uh, okay, um, I've uh, got my gripper. I've uh, now set up the device. I've changed the order of the open and close. Make sure that it uh, triggers on open. Uh, I've changed the, the distance to 25 millimeters. So this is when this gripper uh, handler becomes 25 millimeters distance to the uh, the part and we run in the program a close command it will physically grab that part I've changed the time it takes to uh, open and close the gripper to 100 milliseconds don't forget to uh, save the initial position of your c uh, cylinder so when you run the program it puts it down you can reset it so if we uh, go, go to the program, I, I'm going to just slow it down a little. Uh, run, say OK, and press it, goes to the start position, goes to PPIT1, picks up the part, PPIT2 and drops it uh, unceremoniously. Uh, if I do uh, uh, reset, go back to my emulator and run the program again. Okay, so that uh, is how to uh, set up uh, the, uh, the gripper device to pick to pick up parts and assemble them and stuff. Um, oh, that was okay. Thank you.